Hey, what's up guys, it's Conrad, and in this video, I wanna show you how to get a good acoustic guitar sound using only the Logic Pro stock plugins. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up your bar where you're gonna record, and we're just gonna record a, uh, an eight bar loop here. Um, we'll just go right, push record, here we go, one, two, three, go. The first thing that you want to do is your initial EQ setting. And we're going to do that right into the channel strip where we recorded the acoustic guitar. So you're just going to go click on this EQ section here. And the idea is that you want to basically get the lows out of there and then also reduce any other erroneous frequencies, stuff that's poking out. And I can show you how to find those. That got a little low mids out of there. The next thing I'm going to do is sweep the higher frequency range. You hear how that frequency range has kind of this ringing to it? Then you can kind of A and B what it sounds like without the cuts and with the cuts. And I'm going to sweep through maybe one more time to see if I can find anything else going on in here. Okay, so that's the first pass of the EQ. You can then boost the bass just a little bit. Just want to boost it just a little bit to give it a tiny bit of body. You don't want to boost it too much though. You can also come over here to the high end and sometimes it sounds nice just to boost the very high end a little bit. So that'll be the first EQ. Then I like to add one more EQ to get any more tones out of there. I, I can hear this kind of ringing sound throughout. I'm gonna see if I can find it. So I'm gonna put one more EQ. A, B with it on and with it off. I think I kind of got it there. Cool, so that's your EQ. The next thing that you want to do is add a little bit of compression after that. This is gonna even out some of the volume spikes. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna add the compressor, just the normal one. 
with the compressor, what you're shooting for is around a negative three to negative five dB reduction. If you're not trying to do too much, you're just trying to smooth it out. So I'll play, uh, I'll play the music and then I'll adjust some of these to, until we get negative three to negative five. And yeah, so let's see, let's turn this off and this off, okay. And what you want to do is match the volume with the makeup gain to the normal volume with it turned off. So here's off. All right, so that's a compression. Now I'm still hearing a little bit of that ringing tone coming out. So I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna try to get it after these next couple of steps. So the next step is you wanna send a, uh, with a send, you wanna put a reverb in there. So we're gonna create a bus. We're gonna to go to bus one, just cause it's the first one. And then it automatically brings up your bus channel. And what this is, just another, it's a separate channel where you can blend in any amount of an effect. So sometimes it's cleaner to put the effect on the bus than on the actual channel. So we'll go through here, we'll get the regular reverb going on. Let's click that one. I'm gonna reset all of these. Reset that. There's the EQ. So before you start, you want to turn this bus up with this knob here so you can really hear it. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to solo the bus channel. So all we're hearing is the reverb. So that way you can kind of isolate the tone that you want to get with the reverb and really hone it in to where you want it. So let's see what it sounds like. I'm going to try this chamber setting. So it might sound like a lot right now, but we're gonna hone in the tone of it and then we're gonna turn it down. So I'll do that now. First I like to go to the EQ side and let's get some of that metallic sound of the reverb out of there and let's get some of the lows out of there. So if you turn the EQ off, it'll sound like this. And with it on. So now we can use this main page to further sculpt the reverb. And what these lines do, it's a, it's a time thing. It looks like an EQ, but it's actually taking the certain frequencies and adjusting the delay times of each frequency. So I'm gonna, Sculpt some of the lows, sculpt some of the highs, and try to get a good warm reverb sound by using these dampening, uh, dampening measures here. Okay, now I'm gonna bring back in the regular signal and I'm gonna blend this reverb in there. So I'm gonna turn the reverb down. So 
And now it's starting to sound pretty smooth. So we're gonna do one more bus, and this one's gonna to be to a delay. So we're gonna bus, we're gonna do bus two. And here's the new channel strip with the bus effects, and we're gonna do the echo. Same thing, I'm gonna solo it. Oh, oh, see, I forgot to turn the volume up, so that's why if you solo it and you don't hear anything, it's because you need to turn this volume up here. the echo set we're gonna unsolo this and then blend it into the original channel it's starting to sound pretty good so let's go to our master channel let's see if we can do just a tiny bit more EQ to kind of sculpt out this tone that's poking out and I can hear a kind of like whistle sound happening so I'm going to try to find that and I'm going to try to bring that down a little bit. So you can spend more time with it and really fine tune those frequencies, but that's the basic idea to do one or two EQs at the beginning, compression, um, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay through a bus, and then one more EQ to finalize it. If you wanna get the 
the volume correct, you can shoot for getting around negative three dB on this master channel. You can do it with a limiter. So we're at, we're at negative 14 now and I don't wanna crush your ears or anything. So I'm just gonna demonstrate, which one is it under dynamics, limiter. You can set the, the master output level. So we'll do negative one. And then you can just start to push this volume. So without everything, it sounds like this. Everything it sounds like this. Cool. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. And um, if you have any lessons requests, let me know. And we'll see you later. Bye.